Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy, and welcome back. Today's live gameplay commentary to talk about the buff Hardlight God. Now, I'm on console on Xbox for this gameplay. That's important because this is where the recoil would be the worst on console with the controller. This video is to go over what the changes really mean and then some live gameplay. It's been over four years with this thing. Hardlight was a year one Destiny 1 exotic. The issue with Hardlight, the moment it dropped in the game, was the screen shake. And through the years, the community has been very vocal about that main issue, the screen shake. That's it. That's why it hasn't been used. The single greatest thing about hard light is that it has no damage fall off, but with the screen shake, that was tough to do. And Bungie tried to entice the player in Destiny 2. We have no damage fall off. Hard light over penetrates targets. The ricochets that hit targets have increased damage. You hold to reload to change between arc, solar, and void. Yeah, that's cool and all, but the main issue was always there. Today in the update, the patch note states, adjusted scope feedback in camera camera shake when firing hard light. Now looking at it, it's night and day. I don't have previous footage, but if you've used hard light in the past and you try it, after this update, you will see it. In the background, I have Xbox with controller, and then I have mouse and keyboard on PC, and then after that, I have controller on PC. The shake now pretty much resembles regular recoil. The bounce that it has is kind of in line with the recoil pattern. Since this was finally done after all these years, I look at all those things like the increased damage when bouncing projectiles as an unnecessary free add-on, because all this thing ever really needed was a reduction to the screen shake. Now it has a lot more than that. Collectively, we now have a 600 RPM auto rifle, it has a .8 TTK, that's 9 crit and 1 body, 23 to the head and 14 to the body, no damage fall off, that can challenge pulse rifles, hand cannons. It can live on the extremes of mid-range. You can bounce it to do more damage. There's a catalyst that I haven't done yet that gives plus 25 to stability. It has a 100 recoil direction stat, a 100 aim assist stat. The 100 aim assist, the no damage fall off, with the reduced screen shake is the main draw now. Obviously, we're in early stages, it just came out, but on paper, it checks a lot of boxes. I'm actually going to be on a Titan today because I want to use Frontal Assault with Hard Light. I want to at least get it once or twice for that massive stability boost with more damage. I'm also going to be throwing on some flashbangs, and that's how I'm going to try to do it. We're going to flash him, we're going to go in and try to get Frontal Assault going. It could be really fun if I pull it off a couple times. I do have on the Skullfort to try and abuse Frontal Assault. As always, for my live gameplays, I go into the skill-based control playlist. We're at 2 of 12, and I did that intro while we were in downtime, and that took forever, and it also took our glimmer, but they're getting it straight. Uh, but I was, I've been away all day, I had a full day planned for content, so Steel Feather is going to be the following day, we're going to do this one today, and then uh, I'm going to be talking about the Sundial weapons, ranking them now. I was going to use Breach Light, but since I, I do want to get up in player's face, I'm going to use Skullford, so I'm going to do the shotgun beat down. I put on a Dust Rock. Uh, but we're gonna be trying to get into mostly hard light engagements And I'm gonna take a lot of deaths in this one because I'm gonna try the range right and I, I I did notice and Was able to play a little bit of mouse and keyboard that's in the background and it's actually quite insane with mouse and keyboard Night and day difference. It's super crazy uh, at, at a long distance I did notice though like there is an accuracy cap and it's something I'm just gonna have to dive into at a later date like you could be right on your target just Laser them down and just be center body mass and it's gonna hit the body, every other shot, sometimes the head is just all over the place. Like the accuracy isn't there, so there's some sort of accuracy cap to it, at least I noticed. That's gonna be hard to see with controller, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna try to take the long distance shots. All right, we finally found a game. Let's see if we have any stacked teams. Oh, we have a two stack. Let's actually see if the game's in progress. Nope, oh, beginning of a game, perfect. I tell you, life comes at you fast. It's two in the morning when I got done with my day, so I'm gonna do this, put it up at six, go to bed, then uh, finish my Steel Feather review. But hopefully I can get into a lot of engagements with Hard Light. Now this skill-based matchmaking playlist, like what I've found, like first of all, getting into a game is just, it, sometimes the match doesn't fill with the number of players I've been error coded. Uh, the connection-based, the, the classic mix, I do find games fairly quickly. This one takes some time. And usually what happens is a lot of players play reserved. And uh, usually everyone has like around 20 defeats. Like it just, like I said, it's just skill-based. So we'll see how it goes. We got a map with fairly long sight lines. Oh, we have a Chromatic Fire Warlock. What a G. We're going straight to Bravo. We're throwing that flashbang. I oh, It's going to be me. I always go straight to Bravo, uh, even by myself, because you have to at least contest it. Oh, Lord. Literally all of them went there, and like one person, like that's what should have happened. But you have to contest it, because you at least slow it down a little bit. All right. There we go. Our next rotation's all the way around. We might actually see, see people in this field. This will be a heavy spawn point for them. Yeah, there he is. Long range hard light fight. 
can't really get my... See, we're hitting 23s. That, I haven't really used hard light. So, don't really got its recoil pattern down too, too well. But we'll figure it out. It's trying to bait me. I want frontal assault. Thank you, sir. There's the 27 and the stability. There's the stability with frontal assault. First time I ever done it. Oh, that's a... people behind us please be out of that range can we get out Go. <laughs> we got it guys he didn't even see me in this corner how am I still alive See if he rushes me. Come on, teammate. Give me back up, bruh. Alright, we're going for this guy. Knockout. Knock it. Let's go. I don't know how we did it, but we did it, y'all. They're still coming to be. Alright, this is this is where it ends. This has gotta be it. We only have one shotgun shot. This is the play. This is the play. He's gonna go to that window. We're gonna come right in this inside this way. You're supposed to keep him occupied a little bit longer, but you didn't. At least grab C, y'all. Okay. They're dominantly okay. Never mind. We have one in here. It'd be a bad play if he. If he challenges, which he did. They're going to be going for... We're just going to pop it. Did he get me? He did. That's so good, y'all. Alright, he's pushing with Dawn on middle. So that's might push him to us. Rips. It's so, it's so much better, guys. Ricochet? Good job, team. Okay. I don't, I don't. So, we're actually going to see, see if we can take their shields down. We couldn't do anything about that. There are two supers. Frontal Assault? This guy right behind us. He also got me with the ricochet. And Arc Buddy. There's an Invis guy. There's one. Mm hmm. There's so many people in there. Valiant effort, kiddo. Alright, we might see him actually, right here in front of us, so we're not going to sprint up. Feels good when you do it. You can actually land precise shots with this thing. Alright, there's two of you, please, you got to take him out, there's two of y'all. Deep shots. I don't know what that was. No one's going to test me. We're getting into some good engagements with this thing, y'all. It's doing quite well. What do I have? We have an avalanche. Need to grab a zone. I'm kind of waiting for a push. Like, once I see them, that's when we're going to rush mid. Oh, never mind. They're hitting us on this side. And we're still going to try it. I have to leave because I have frontal assault. 
I'm not gonna waste that on a cat unless I get absolutely obliterated by that nade when I come in. But it's doing quite well. Like I'm, I'm extremely impressed by it. I know striker isn't fun. I'm wasting my super, but we we have to get this. We literally have to get this. You can beat him. We'll just we kind of rotate around. From what I've been seeing, he's going to beat our teammate. Yeah. Frontal Assault. That's the stuff. Oh, I needed to grab him. So what's super nice about Bottom Tree Striker is you do have knockout. So if you land a good shotgun shot, you can melee them out. We're not going to get this game. We weren't really... I tried my best with zones, y'all. I tried my absolute best. But uh, we couldn't do it. But this thing... This thing does quite well. Oh, well, we did the best that we could with what we had. It's super late, and uh, I, I didn't have that much time to play, but I, I think that it, we, we kind of saw what Hardlight can do now. I mean, before it was it was just so miserable to shoot it. Uh, let's see how many. We had 34 defeats. Uh, opponents defeated three caps, 3.14. This guy had eight. He was he was the real MVP. He was going in between. I was getting the, uh, I was trying to be around B, but I wonder what you guys think about hard light. Um, I don't think it's really a meme anymore. Like you can do well with it. Like there's a part of me that wanted to use, let's say a sniper rifle, like revoker, because you can body shot them, switch to that hard light and have good damage at range. Uh, but all in all, it, it performs quite well at the extreme middle range. And that's, that's fairly exciting. And, uh, all you guys on mouse and keyboard, let me know what you think. From the little time that we've had this, it's been a day, well, it's been a night, I should say, and so you're going to be using it today. Gather our thoughts. What do we think about it? Again, a full review for Still Feather is going to be the following day, and then I'm going to try to rank all the Sundial weapons. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.